atoms, elements and compounds. Hello everyone, it's GCSE Revision here and today we're going to be beginning the, a new series on for chemistry and today we're just going to be looking at topic C1 which is the first topic out of the three, C1, C2 and C3 and today we're going, the lesson will be on atoms, elements and compounds which is the first part in 1.1. Now learning objectives. To know what elements are made of, to understand how atoms and elements are represented and to know how elements join together. Atoms and elements. Now look at the things around you. All the substances that are made from different things create the things that are all around us. Now everything that is around you are made of atoms. Now atoms create everything, whether it be the your ceiling, roof, bed frame, iPhone, whatever it is. Everything is made from atoms. Now different objects are created by different atoms coming together in different ways to make different substances but the smallest part of an element is an atom. Now elements are pretty much the things that make everything all up all around us. They're a substance that are made up of only one type of atom. So each atom is individual and each atom have different properties. Each of the different properties form a different element. So a single element is an atom that has its own exclusive properties on its own. So a substance made up of only one type of atom such as oxygen that's an element because it's only made up of oxygen atoms that have its own um, properties that make it oxygen. The periodic table of elements. Now the elements form the periodic table of elements. It shows every single type of atom we know to date and it organizes them in rows. So as shown here the table displays all known elements to man. They are arranged by groups and each group has its own similar properties. So we have, we're, there's going to be a lesson on the periodic table of elements, but that's for another day. Right now, that's for C2 and C3 we're going to be looking at that, but we have to know for C1 is each of the rows is made, it has their own different properties. So row one, which is the furthest row to the left, consists of hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, etc. And each of them have their own different properties. Element symbols. Now, so that we can recognize each element, each one has its own symbol on the periodic table of elements. This way, they can be distinguished in any language around the world. So, whether you're talking French, German, Spanish, each of the elements are going to have a different name, but the symbols are always the same. Every single country uses the same periodic table of elements, and all the symbols are the same. So, that way, there's no language barrier between scientists when they have to discuss about hydrogen on the periodic table on the periodic table of elements. So as shown, hydrogen, this is how it's displayed on the periodic table of elements. Don't worry about the ones quite yet, we're going to be looking at that in another lesson, but it has a symbol H, hydrogen, and that's how it's represented on the table. Compounds. Now some substances are made up of a combination of many elements. They are called compounds. A compound is a substance made of two or more types of atoms chemically joined together. In other words, when two different elements that have their own different properties join together chemically and become a new substance, that is a compound. Now an example of compound is H2O. As I've put here, we have one big hydrogen atom which is clearly different to the two individually but exactly the same oxygen atoms and they're joined together by chemical bonds. So the overlapping barriers in between two of them are the bonds and they hold the whole thing together. Now they're bonded chemically so that's what makes it a compound. Right. Whoops. My questions. So <laughs> I hope you haven't seen any of the answers that I accidentally flicked through. But here are the questions. So when you're ready press pause, no cheating, try your best at them um, from either the notes you've made or what you've learned in this video and once you can, you're can, you ready press play and you can go through and look at all the answers. So here you go, if you've got 4 out of 4 very well done I recommend you should move on to the next video which is on this playlist that you can find on my channel. If not you've got 3 out of 4 maybe you should go back and check some parts of the video maybe just the slides you weren't too sure on and all in all, yeah, if you did four, pat on the back. If not, it's up to you. You can go back and check them just to try and see if you can get that 100%.
Right, so thank you for watching, guys. This is the end of 1.1. Next lesson, we'll be moving on to C1 1.2 and looking at limestone and its uses. So thank you very much, and that's it. End of lesson.